Welcome to Highline Excel class number 51. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 9, Business 214. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 9 website. You are not going to believe this. We saved the best video for last. This is Week 9, Finance. So we'll do some personal finance. Here, we're going to plan out our whole life, including uh, after we die and we leave money to our kids. 250 bucks a month, that's our estimate, right? We're going to put that much away for 30 years. We want to calculate how much we have when we retire. That's the future value function. Then, that's just the day we retire. On the day we retire, we then want to plan all the way to the end of our life when we pass away and leave some money to our kids. So on that particular day, the future value will become present value, and we'll see how much we get to pull out each month, including how much we're going to leave to our kids. And then we'll calculate over the whole lifetime how much we actually put in to our savings plan and how much we take took out and what the difference is. All right, let's start with the easy one. We have 30 years, so we need months because we're going to do um, eventually do monthly well, we're putting in monthly amounts here, and we're going to pull out monthly rates when we retire. So we need to calculate total months equals the 30 times, and I'm just going to put it 12 in because the number of months in one year doesn't change. 360. Now, we need a monthly rate because all, as we've seen through all this uh, week nine videos, time period matters. If you're doing analysis for a month or a quarter or a year, everything better be in that unit of time. So monthly rate equals that rate divided by 12. Now we can go ahead and do our future value equals FV. The rate is going to be our period rate, monthly rate, comma. Our NPER is the total number of periods. You see that we've done lots of functions uh, in this week and they pretty much most of them all has the same type of arguments right uh, NPER the only difference was for effect we saw NPER Y but number of periods 360 comma the payment now this is coming out of our wallet so I'm gonna put a minus here other times we put the minus explicitly in the cell um, in fact, I'm going to do that here and then go up and change it in just a moment. I'll change it explicitly there. Now, present value, we don't have anything in the bank right now. And type, this is N, so by default we can leave that off. Close parentheses. Enter. Now I'm going to come up here and type a minus. So there it is. On the day we retire, we have uh, about a half a million dollars. That's not bad, just by putting 250 bucks in each month. Now, obviously, these are all estimates because you know maybe at the beginning you put in 50 bucks, and then it goes up to 100, 200, 300, and then near the end it's 500 or 600. Now, here's the conceptual trick for finance. Here's the day we retire. But when you take this 500, this half a million dollars out, are you going to spend it all on that day? No way, you're going to leave it in the bank and just take out a, some amount each month. So it will continue to earn interest. So we're going to take this number and pretend it's the present value on the day we uh, uh, retire. We're going to put it back in the bank. I'm actually going to say equals minus this. Because if we put it back into the bank, it's like we're taking it out of a, our wallet and bringing it, giving it to the bank. Remember, it's still yours, but in terms of cash flow analysis and financial functions, uh, in Excel, and by the way, all the way back to Fibonacci, uh, like in the 11th or 12th century or something, when he invented the first present value uh, concepts, present value, future value, and the first financial functions, uh, cash flow matters. So th we're going to put that as a negative. Now, months equals the years times 12. Monthly rate equals that rate divided by 12. Notice we're assuming 7 here and we did 10. Now uh, I'm shooting this in 2009 and it's hard to get a 10% return right now. But And maybe we'll never get it again, but history shows that getting 10% over 30 years is possible. And so we drop from 10 to 7 when we retire because when you, get reti when you retire, you don't want to take as much risk so the return is not going to be as high. I'm going to hit enter. And now I can calculate our monthly payment. And we're going to do this in a few steps here and see the differences in amount. The first one we're going to do is just say, hey, 
Uh, I want all the money. I'm not going to leave any to my kids. And we're going to take it out the end of each month. So I'm going to say equals PMT. Now, we've done the PMT for loans, right? But now, we're doing it from the point of view of us. We're not paying this payment out. This payment is coming into our pocket. All right, you ready? Rate is going to be the monthly rate, comma, NPER the uh, total number of months we think we're going to be alive, comma. Now, in earlier videos, we did payment for our loan payment, how much we had to pay. So present value was positive, because when the bank gives it to us, it's positive. But here, why is it negative? Because we're giving it to the bank. We're giving it to the bank, so it is negative. I'm going to skip over the, uh, I'm going to type a comma. Future value is the balloon payment at the end or the amount we leave to our kids, whatever is at the end. The balloon payment uh, was a negative when we did it for a loan because we paid it out. But now this uh, 250, well, we'll talk about it in just a moment. We're going to skip over it for, for now, comma, because it'll be surprising. If we live 250,000 for the end, which means it's still in the bank at the end, the difference between what we take out is not that much. So we're going to do it first without it and then see what it is and then compare it when we leave money for our kids. Now type, this is begin because on the day we retire I want to take some out. So we're, and if you forget what the type is, what do you do? You click on the f of x and you click in the uh, argument uh, text box in the functions argument for PMT dialog box and then oh read down here. So payment at the beginning of the period is 1 omitted or zero. So I'm going to put a one there and then click OK. All right, $3,589. That's what we get to take out uh, just from this uh, savings plan here. So now let's take a look. I'm going to uh, put it into F2 mode and let's go ahead and put a future value in. All right, so 3589, right? Let's put this future value amount in. So that's a positive. We want that still in the bank. So on the last day, it, po it pops out positive to us. Now I'm going to hit Enter. Oh, not much difference. Look at that. So Control-Z, it went from 589, 3,589. Control-Y is reduced to 3,451. So not a big difference. I'm going to leave that uh, in the bank at the end for the kids. Now, how do you calculate the amount put in total? No problem, not hard at all. Equals, and I'm going to put a minus, this 250. Oh, that's how much we put in each month times, it's a simple calculation, our months that we put it in. 90,000. That's pretty good. Now, amount taken out, what do we do? Same thing, but from the other side. Aha! This amount here times our 420. You already see a startling difference, right? 3,000 each month taken out, 250 put in. And then we have to add our uh, amount we get out on the last day, too. So total amount taken out. You gotta be kidding me. Look at the difference. Okay, well, look at the difference. Difference means subtraction, so we'll take this one minus this one. You gotta be kidding me. That is amazing. Uh, um, over about a million and a half dollars in interest. There it is throughout the whole life. So even uh, if you put a small amount, or maybe that's a big amount, each month, for some people that is a big amount. For some people that's not possible. But for those that can, even if it's uh, minus 50, still you're going to uh, have Okay, so we're going to hit to take out 579, but we're still going to leave $250,000. Uh, maybe we have, th th well, at least that's 579, right? The difference is still a lot of interest. And really, the variable that affects the interest calculation the most is time. Time. So uh, let's say minus 100. And um, if historical rates were correct, 13%. Uh, so uh, we then have almost a half a million. We get 2,600. That's just with 100, right? Uh, maybe we'll be a little conservative. We'll say it's 
still we get to have a thousand bucks each month and leave two hundred fifty thousand dollars to our kids so that is some retirement analysis using uh, future value uh, functions PMT and then a little logic to do some multiplying add in subtracting to figure out the total interest alright uh, that's week nine we'll see you next week week ten our final week in this class